Demetrius Guyton was too young to remember the attack that scarred him for life. I've had a lot of skin grafts, a lot of surgeries as well. I don't have any nasal passages, so I've never been able to smell a day of my life. He was just two months old when his mother tried to kill him by lacing his bottle with hydrochloric acid. She did it to cash in on a $25,000 life insurance policy. Every time Demetrius looked in the mirror, he was reminded of what his mother did. I hated my mother. I resented her very bad, and uh, it was horrible. She was sentenced to 15 years for first-degree assault. Demetrius was in and out of foster care until he went to live with his grandmother when he was five. His childhood was marked by ridicule, abuse, and rejection. It was very terrible for me growing up because I had to deal with a lot of bullying, a lot of low self-esteem, a lot of everything that come with it being ostracized and alienated. Some told him even God didn't care. You're just a fluke of nature, you're nothing. God cursed you, he hates you. By his teens, he was using drugs and had joined a gang. He took out his anger on anyone he encountered on the streets. When I would go out into society, people would begin to stare at me and I just go up to them randomly and fight. It's like a gratification that I would feel, uh, that I was able to release all of the pain that was down inside of me. Demetrius was in and out of juvenile detention on various assault and battery charges. As a high school dropout, he never learned to read or write. Then, in 2004, Demetrius caught his girlfriend cheating with another man. Being rejected like that and betrayed, it took me just to a horrible, horrible place of anger. Demetrius attacked the man and was arrested and charged with attempted murder. Now 18, he was tried as an adult and given a life sentence. When I first entered into prison, fear beyond measures. And then I know that all the attention was gonna be on me because of my face. Either I have to fight, you know, every day with a bunch of men or just accept the fact that this is my life. A Christian inmate befriended Demetrius and started telling him about Jesus and using the Bible, taught him how to read and write. Well, my experience when I embarked on reading the Word of God, it, it came out of being desperate and out of being hungry for Him. Then one night, while praying, Demetrius says he heard God speak to him. I had never heard this voice before in my life, but it came to me and it told me that I love you, that I love you and I want to use you. Demetrius began telling other inmates about his encounter with God. I began to share transparently of how angry I used to be, and how I used to hate Jesus, and how he wasn't real, and how even though I'm in this jungle, he appeared to me and he's real. One day, a woman evangelist shared her testimony of how she was cellmates with a woman who tried to kill her son. She was sharing about this lady that had poisoned her son, and uh, she came to a place where she finally forgave herself, and she used that as a testimony of truth to try to empower us to forgive ourselves. After the meeting, Demetrius talked to the evangelist and shared that the lady was his mother. She told him Jesus had a purpose for his life. Demetrius finally surrendered everything to God. I fell on my knees, and I began to cry out. Tears began to leap out of my eyes. First of all, God, thank you for manifesting yourself to me and showing me that you are real. Second of all, thank you for dying for me. You know, thank you for dying for me and sharing your blood for me. And third of all, forgive me for all of my sins and help me to, to live for you. And I began to feel a peace over me that was like none other joy once I got up. And I promised her that I was gonna live for the rest of my life serving Jesus. After serving five years, Demetrius was granted early parole for good behavior. The first thing he did was visit his mother, who was also out of prison, to tell her he had forgiven her. Immediately, my heart just wept for her. Now she's seeing a son that literally came from the grave of life and have been resurrected and is serving Jesus. And all I wanted to do was just tell her, look, I love you. I forgive you. And she fell on her knees and began to weep towards Jesus, thanking him that I was alive, thanking him that I had forgiven her. Today, Demetrius is a full-time evangelist and author. 
He sees people in all walks of life who need to experience the life-changing power of God's forgiveness and healing through Jesus Christ. Jesus, He is the ultimate healer. He has the power to go underneath your skin and subjugate all of that which you thought uh, you would never become. He will give you life. 